how do you determine where the lines are blurred between what you do in CAD and what you do in BIM? There's a great misconception that when you go to Revit, everything you're gonna do is gonna be in Revit, and that's not true. Depending on the type of project you do, you could still be doing electrical diagrams, process and instrumentation. You have a lot of CAD files that you still have to deal with. Some of them get integrated into the Revit model, some of them don't. So it's important to understand how all these things are affected, items such as what your text fonts are, what your layers are when you're working in CAD. All of these are critical items that if you do not set them up correctly, you can have problems when you start working with different views inside the Revit environment. So you wanna make sure that you know what your CAD tasks are and what you do in BIM. Once you get into BIM, you're not gonna be doing things like manually cutting sections and elevations and plans, but you're also gonna be automating schedules. Those are key things that we wanna look at we want to make sure that things like sheets are compatible with each other. So everything lines up and it looks like everything came out of the same software program. It's important to know what happens behind the scenes of the software products that you're using and how the infrastructure that you're working with can help you be successful. So it's important to really understand all of this.